Hello, this is Alan. Just wanted to give you a little update of what I have done. What I've been up to with this thing. We'll focus. I bought a brushless system. A Bully Storm 60A ESC. That's 1 to 3S compatible. And this camera is so old it's not want to focus. Come with a 17.5 turn motor. Censored. Looks pretty um, nice. Of course, it's going to go into my Red Cat Volcano EPX. And as you can see, I've already stripped it down. There's my uh, 2S. Oh, there you go. And it's a uh, 30C. Um, so, I have my Metal Gear that's finally showed up. I'm gonna put in that's a I think it's the same as the plastic stock one. It's um 64 tooth I believe. This one that came with the deal is a 26 I believe and I have a 21 also on the way. I don't think the 26 is gonna work. Um put that there real easy to get to the motor. Put my receiver there. That way it's up out of the way. Because these shells set up so high and even when I lowered it when I lowered it, it had some clearance and I'm not gonna cut the body so that now even then it still touches if it hits hard enough but not much and I also lowered the post a couple notches just to get it down a little bit more so what I'm gonna be showing today is me which don't know hi I'm Alan and I'm going to try to solder my wires to my engine oh, and all the things that I've watched never really exactly seen that someone says with these thick wires that are already pre-soldered make sure you heat the wire up first then heat this up and then keep them heated at the same time I was going to record it but it's just too difficult okay. so what so instructions are always a good thing which the instructions seem to be pretty good with this there's another thing that I don't really like I really want to try to see if I can try to waterproof this somehow because the switch also has ooh let's look close the program button I don't know if you can see it so it has the program button right there and the on and off switch and there's only two little screws I hold it on and then of course you got the little board in there PCB board or whatever it's called but anyway that's another story so This isn't going the best. I just want to make sure I got a good connection. Make sure they have nothing coming close to touching. Because unfortunately, I don't have the means to go buy another one right away. And like a lot of people, that seems like 
they're doing pretty well for themselves in this hobby. Definitely not the prettiest job, but it's shiny. Let's see, can I break it off? Nope. Looks good. All right. Number two. You. Well, that's odd. Not wanting to stick to that at all. Ouch. Imagine that, it's hot. Mm, just like to make sure. Uh oh. Stayed on there a little too long. Shit. I've never seen them get heat up and come off that fast, but what do I know? Try to hurry this up. Yeah, same, it just doesn't seem like it's actually getting a good bite on there. I don't like this. Don't like this. First, this is the same for first time for everything. Mm, a nice scratch on there. Let's see if I can scratch this a little and get some. I should do a little better. Hot, hot, hot.
Okay. Well, there you have it. First time wiring up an EOC, and first time wiring up a motor, a brushless motor at that too. So C is orange, C is orange, B is yellow, B is yellow, A is blue, A is blue. All right. Well, that is that for now.